Hello everybody, welcome back. Sorry for the delay in the answer scheme for tutorial chapter 4. So, there are 11 questions and if you still remember, we've learned before the holiday, we've uh, studied work, energy and power. Tapi macam power, kita ter skip skip sikit lah. But it's okay, I'll explain it here in this tutorial. Alright, so question number one, a three kilogram box. So there's a three kilogram box, three kilogram box at rest on the ground lifted vertically to a height of two meter with a constant upward applied force of 60 Newton. So kalau kita lukis, kita ada satu box ni. Uh, it is being lifted vertically. So that is... Uh, the displacement which is 2 meter and this is using a force of 60 newton so we are asked to calculate the we are asked to calculate the work done by the applied force so work done by the applied force remember work is equal to force times displacement cos theta where theta is the angle between force and displacement Okay, so now, F times S times cos theta. So, berapa angle between displacement and force? So, if we see here, the displacement is parallel to the force. So, bila benda tu much, eh, so, the angle is going to be equal to 0 degree. So, we can just write 62 cos 0 degree. So, that is gonna be equal to 120 joule okay question b pula we have to calculate the work done by the gravity so work done by the gravity is uh mg lah tulis okay so that is force dia adalah mg cos theta so mg ni pula di mana direction dia mg direction dia akan ke bawah okay because weight force will always be pointing downwards so now the displacement and the force, the gravity, sorry, is 180 degree lah. So, angle dia 180 darjah. So, kamu perlu ingat, the angle bukan kena measure based on the line here lah. Kalau kamu letak macam ni, kamu akan dapat 0 degree. No, it should be 180 degree. So, dari aero displacement ni ke aero force yang di sini. Macam tu lah kamu buat, okay? So, that is gonna be, M is berapa so tadi? Dia bilang 3 kilo. 3, 9.81, cos 180 degree. So, that is equal to negative 58.9 joule. Right, so that is the solution for question number one. So, what do you need to know in this part here is how do you determine the angle here lah. Other than that, sepatutnya semuanya okay. Jangan confuse. Uh, weight is, eh, sorry, sorry. Work is a scalar quantity. Tapi negative ni, that indicates whether the work is being done on the on the system ataupun by the system lah. Okay. So, itu sajalah untuk question number one.